Alright, this is part 2 of what's new in Make the Cut Software version 2.3.0 beta version. And uh, some, some other things that we're going to show you on what is new in this software is under the text and fonts. Now we can you know double click anywhere on this mat. Actually, let me uh, let me go ahead and change this back to you know traditional cricket here, so you can see what's going on. And uh, text and fonts, you know, just the normal way we add text and fonts, just like any other previous version. And you'll notice that we have two check boxes now, and we're going to go ahead and show you the difference. Um, I I'm just going to type hello in here, and I'm I'm going to have both of these unchecked. I'm going to hit add. And of course, it is uh, is now placed on our mat. I'm going to go ahead and do it again this time. Get type hello on there again. And l let's go ahead and take a look at the difference. Now, with the auto split off is the top one here. And as you can see, I'm I'm selecting any letter on here, and it's selecting the whole group. Now, with the auto split checked, now I can select each individual letter and and move them around. Now. I mean, I can still do that with this. All I have to do is, you know, select this and go to the split feature over here. And it does the same thing. So now I can move each individual letter, you know, just like it did with the auto split check mark. So it just eliminates one, one extra step that you have to do, and it does it for you already. So if you want it as a group, you can keep it as a group. If you don't, then you can go ahead and auto split. So right, so the other th thing that we can do with text now is we have that vertical type tool, and uh, you just do the same thing, but this time we're going to check block this. We're just going to type in hello, and hit the add button, and as you can see, the hello is now vertically uh, aligned here. And of course, you can rotate this and move it to wherever you wish, but uh, but that's how that vertical type tool works. All right. Uh, something else that is is new is the uh, the cut and paste. Now we can go from cut and paste uh, from make the cut to Inkscape by uh, you know just clicking on what object that you want to import into Inkscape or paste into Inkscape, and you just go ahead and go hit the copy button or Control C. Then we can go ahead and go into Inkscape over here and uh, just go ahead and paste it by going up to edit paste and as you can see the uh, the make the cut logo is now now in here it's just, this is just a way you know you can bring stuff into uh, Inkscape without actually having to save it as an SVG file now likewise say our, I have this right here that's it was already an SVG that I brought into Inkscape I did some editing some tweaking in here and now I'm, I'm ready to bring it in to make the cut you know, same thing, I can just go ahead and copy this by going up to the Edit Copy or Control C and bringing that into Make the Cut. So I can go ahead and create a new new mat for it if I wish. And I can go ahead and hit uh, hit the paste. And there's the uh, the clover that we, we copied on our clipboard from Inkscape. So right, that does it for the Part 2 video. Stay tuned for the Part 3. I told you there's a lot of new features in this.